Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur. Today we're going to be talking about Played Up specifically. We're going to be doing our burger tutorial. This is a tutorial where I go through, introduce all of the items for it, show you how to cook it, then give you some tips and tricks. And of course, last but not least, I show you how to automate the whole thing if you wish. Uh, and then you can go ahead and expand on it from there. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, make sure you leave a comment down below. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first is you're going to see we have our basic burgers here. I started this just run just to show you really quick. All right, so all you need to do is go ahead and grab a patty. You throw it on the burner and it's going to cook up your patty. Then simply cooked, you've got your cooked patty, you've got your basic patty, you have your bun, uh, and then all you have to do is cook a patty, throw the bun on it. Um, as a note, the bun does not, or the patty won't burn if the bun is on it. Uh, at the exact same point, you can also throw a plate down. Uh, first and then you can grab it with the bun uh, and everything looks great. So there are your options for the basic burger. Now with that being said though uh, there are a lot of add-ons for burgers. Lots and lots of add-ons. So we're going to go ahead and load up a previous franchise that I have uh, get a couple appliances going on that and jump into practice mode uh, so I can show you all of the parts to a burger including fresh patties. Okay, so here we are. We have our burgers ready to go. We have fresh patties, toppings, and all of the good stuff. Uh, our buns are already ready to go, as you can see here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and put those back. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and show you how to make fresh patties. So fresh patties, you need two things. You're going to need eggs and meat. You're going to go ahead and chop up the eggs or blend them technically or however you want to scramble them you throw the meat with the eggs and then you get yourself a beautiful patty uh there you go that is your patties um and then you can just go ahead and do the same thing it looks the exact same as the basic patty uh and then you have other options for toppings one of which is tomatoes the other which is onions as we'll throw it down here and the last but not least is cheese so in essence if you wanted to we could go ahead uh throw ourselves quickly together on a a uh, little bit of a patty. So we're going to make ourselves a full custom patty here with everything on top of it uh, and kind of show you what that's going to end up looking like. Um, we're just going to throw it right down on here. You're going to see that we get our burger. Let's throw a tomato on there. There's our tomato. It looks delicious. There's our onion. And there that is. And then, of course, you got to add some cheese to that, right? So we're going to slap on our cheese, and there it is. So this is a full patty. You can see how those show up uh, differently on the burger. But basically, those are all of your toppings that you can do, anything you can do with your patty. Uh, and it gets kind of ridiculous, right? So you can kind of see here. Uh, when you're carrying, it's hard to see unless you're facing the right direction. But you can see when you put it down, it does show everything, but it's a little bit difficult. Uh, one thing I want to note for tips and tricks for burgers, first off, is, of course, uh, the fact that your patties, when you cook them, uh, you can prevent them by burning by throwing a plate down or a bun uh, that will not burn on top of a hop that's always a fantastic thing second thing is you can if you've got automation going pretty well you can automate fresh patties um and i will actually show how to automate uh regular burgers uh i think is really what i have for the franchises and so i'll show you how to do that but fresh patties is just using some combiners and mixers and i actually do enjoy them if you have the opportunity to do it and you can take it for a loss of customers now one thing you want to note is you want to try to avoid uh, seats sitting up and down so if you have a kitchen table um I will go ahead and grab one really quick, but basically you have a kitchen table and if it's sitting with the seats going up and down, sometimes the burgers will be covered by the patient's bars. So try to avoid that and try to go east to west with your uh, seats if you can, or put them at the bottom. So don't have seats up top. So if this was the table, this seat right here, I would definitely avoid. Uh, outside of that, let's go ahead and get some automation going. I'm super excited to see where this goes uh, and have a blast. Okay, so here we are looking at our fantastic uh, little creation here for burgers. This is probably one of the easier ones to do along with uh, buns or uh, hot dogs as we said. But simply, you can have a danger hob, you can have a safety hob, you can have a regular hob, you can have a budget hob. Budget hob's probably bad because you don't have a fire extinguisher. But you can have any type of hob. I prefer danger hobs because you need it to go as fast as possible. But all you're going to do is you're going to get your patty, it's going to grab, it's going to place out there, it's going to start cooking. Your buns are going to grab and go on the combiner. As soon as this is done cooking, it's going to throw a bun on it so it can't burn. Then the smart 
cart grabber, which has already been marked for cooked patties with a bun, we'll grab it, place it here, and then our plates will be grabbed into here, into our auto plater, and place them directly onto this counter. Uh, you don't have to do a counter here. You could do hobs, sinks, anything. It doesn't have to be a counter here if you don't have access to a counter. Uh, table would work too. Uh, but let's go ahead and run the system for everybody to see. And as you can see, you're going to have the patty go in. It's going to cook pretty quickly. There goes the bun, and there comes our plate. And simply, it'll just stack up, and you can see it will not backlog. No worries, no issues, no problems at all. That is literally the essence of uh, burgers right there uh, as far as you needed to see. So with that being said, uh, the only thing you would have to change is if you were doing patties, uh, is you're going to have to make, make sure you grab the meat coming out, you're going to have the eggs coming out, you're going to have to mix them, combine them together, and then put them on the hob. Um, still the same idea would work, you just have this be more of an input of maybe having a counter uh, have your eggs combined from this side, your pat burger or your meat combined from this side, have like a conveying mixer, a grabber, and then the meat. It's nothing too crazy, uh, but that's what I would do. And that's how I would get around that. And as I said, if you have the parts and the money to do it, uh, it's something that can actually help reduce the amount of um, uh, load you need to do onto the system. Uh, but the biggest thing I would say is try to introduce, if you can, some form of frozen prep or something like that to increase the amount of burgers you have accessible so you don't ever really fall behind. But that's going to do it for burgers here. I hope this tutorial helps you in all the tutorials that we do on Plate Up. If you haven't already, check out that playlist. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, leave a comment down below. But I hope you all have a fantastic day, and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.